everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jolie Greenbaum. I'm the Executive Assistant at Keurig Immigration Law. And today we're going to be discussing the various supporting documents that often accompany a humanitarian and compassionate application, otherwise known as the agency application. So it's important to remember that the documents needed in an agency application really need to show the applicant's establishment in Canada. Now, when we're submitting a list of documents to our clients, we will often tailor this list of supporting documents based on their given situations. However, there are common supporting documents that we almost always include within an agency application, and I'm just going to sort of go through those just to give you an idea if you're about to submit your own agency application or if you would like to retain us for our services. So examples of potential supporting documents to include in an agency application would be proof of family members living in Canada. So if you have other family members, brothers, sisters, aunts living in Canada, so maybe photos of their passports showing that they're also Canadian citizens. Uh, proof of friends in Canada is also a great one. Uh, so what we would usually do in the case of this is we would ask you to submit reference letters. So we generally ask our applicants to submit to us five to seven reference letters from friends and family in Canada to demonstrate their establishment and their social network within Canada. And what's interesting with what we do is that we often take excerpts uh, of the most poignant parts of these reference letters and actually include them in our legal submission letter because we really find that it strengthens and humanizes uh, the application in the legal submission letter. Another thing that we would include would be a lot of photos. We love to include photos in our applications showing, you know, from the date that you've been in Canada up until the date that we submit the application, showing that you're hanging out with friends or with family or you're volunteering or you're doing community work or you're taking courses, stuff like that, with photos showing that you're visiting different uh, Canadian cities, stuff like that. Of course, given the current pandemic situation, this uh, limits the areas where you're allowed to visit in Canada. Um, but we love to include pictures that really, that really show that the, that the applicant is integrated into Canadian society. Other documents might be Canadian ID cards. So if you have a, a Costco membership or a gym membership or a library card with either your photo or your name on it, this, is, this just further shows your establishment within the locale that you're living in. Um, other things that we would definitely include, as I mentioned earlier, proof of uh, your volunteer work, your community work, and if you have children living with you in Canada, proof of their establishment in Canada. So showing um, where they go to school, maybe a letter from their principal, their report cards, maybe even personal statements from them and their friends showing them that they have their own network of friends in Canada then, and that they would suffer hardship if they were forced to be removed from Canada. This would also be very important for us to show and would definitely uh, support the applicant's establishment in Canada. Other documents that we would include would be financials within Canada. So if you have a bank account, if you own property, if you own a car, if uh, you have various insurance in Canada, health insurance, uh, work insurance, if you're paying utility bills, if you're working somewhere, then if you can get a letter of employment showing from your boss that you are actively involved at work and that you're a committed employee, uh, your salary, uh, what your duties are at work, stuff like that. This would also show your establishment, obviously, uh, within your community. And then if you're experiencing mental health issues due to being, you know, either out of status or potentially, you know, separated from family, which often comes along with being an immigrant in Canada, we often suggest to our clients to potentially see a mental health specialist and get a mental health assessment done because this would also ultimately strengthen the file and demonstrate that you as an applicant would suffer hardship if you were forced to leave Canada at this point in your life. And building on that, we also include documents that show the negative country conditions from your country of origin, the applicant's country of origin. And while this isn't the essence of the application, as I had explained, the essence of the application is really to show the applicant's establishment in Canada, um, we would still include it nonetheless to show the hardship you would suffer. So, so like I said, the essence of the application is not to show the applicant's risk. That would be a refugee application. However, we still like to mention this stuff in passing because it is still important, like I said, with the mental health assessment, because those negative country conditions could be making your life more difficult here and could really impede on your life and your children's life if you were forced to be removed from Canada at this point in time. 
Now I know I just mentioned a long list of supporting documents, which can often be very daunting for our clients. However, it's always important to remember that quality is always far more important than quantity. So even though there is a long list of uh, different types of supporting documents you can provide, this doesn't mean you need to provide absolutely everything and you know 50 pages of each. We don't need to have uh, bank statements from every single week over the last 10 years that you've been in Canada or 500 photos. This would just um, be too much for the officer to look at. It's really important that we show the most pertinent aspects of your establishment in Canada and that these documents be of quality and not just quantity. So if you have any questions regarding HNC applications, don't hesitate to reach out to our office and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you for watching and we'll speak to you next time. Thank you.